This is Chloe. <sighs> Hi everyone, this is Chloe from Wondershare for More here to empower your inner video creator. Welcome back to another episode of You Ask We Answer, the series where we answer your questions from the comment section. All right, are you ready? Let's go. The very first question comes from Kevin Michaels. Would love to see a clip synchronization tool based on audio. You know what? It's already in from our talk. Let's go ahead and show you where it is. In from our talk, find the auto synchronization tool on top of the timeline panel. To sync audio with a clip, we can select both clips and click the auto synchronization button and it will be done in a few seconds. If you can't find the button, you can go to the custom toolbar button on the left and you will find it here. All right, next question. The next question comes from Andro Media. I can't upgrade to 12.4, why? I might know the answer to this question. The version 12.4 is currently under beta test. So if you haven't got an update notification to it, it might be because we're rolling it out to you group by group. Maybe check it back later and you will get the update notification. And also, if you already had it, let us know how you feel about it in the comments. Okay, this question comes from Venkata Pavani Vudukuru. I hope I didn't mispronounce your name. So you asked, is there any voice modulation tool in Fomora? I guess you would want to adjust your pitch or some audio settings in Fomora. Yes, we do have it. Let me go ahead and show you where it is. We can double click on the sound clip and find the pitch settings in the settings window. I can easily change my voice from a high pitch to a low pitch by dragging the bar here. Also, we can find a more detailed equalizer from here by clicking on the setting button next to the equalizer drop menu. It lets us customize the audio settings easily. Next question. So this question comes from Austin. The VIN. Everything is great, just if you could add color wheels to the color editor. Good news, we've already had it in from our top. Double click on the clip on the timeline, go to the color settings on the top left, and find the color wheel section here. If you want to know more about how to use the color wheel, check out this video. All right, let's go to the next question, sorry. The next question comes from Simon Wafula. I love the AI tool that helps in changing background of videos. I agree with you. The AI Smart Cutout is really useful and I use it very often too. There are also other tools like AI Audio Stretch, the ChatGPT, and Image Generator. If you haven't already used it, give it a try. And if you have already used it, share your feedback in the comments. Thank you so much. And next one. Ooh, this is the last one. So this question comes from Vladimir Solovyov. If I'm saying your name right. Um, please help. How do I make the picture shake in the video? I overlay the speaker's photo on the video and want the picture to shake in time with the speech when the speaker speaks. I guess you want to add a shake effect to the photo in the picture in picture effect. Um, it's quite easy to do. Let me show you how. Drag and drop the background video on the first video track and drop the image to the second video track. Scale the image to an ideal size and move it to its position. Then go to the top left effect panel and search for the shake effect. I'm going to use the up down shake in this example. You can also try other shake effects. Drag and drop this effect onto the image on the second video track. And ta-da! The shake effect has been applied to the image. All right, those are all the questions we have for this episode. If you have more questions, let us know in the comment section and we will try to answer them in the next video. Oh, by the way, I'm not supposed to tell you, but we're adding more AI features in Fomora 13. Stay tuned. See you in the next video.